Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're hitting the golf course and hopefully we're hitting some golf balls. This week on Texas Eats, we're hanging out at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort. I want to show it off to the camera. Look at that. Perfect, medium, HTO, 24 different flavors, all kinds of different combinations. This is a spot. Look at that, super colorful, looks delicious. On the range and get you on the links. Let's loosen up. There we go. This is how you do it. We'll be cruising around the Alamo City looking for some killer bites. The first stop on our journey is the Hyatt Hill Country Resort. Joining me now is Director of Golf, Eric Claxton, to talk about this huge golf resort that they have out here at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort. It's gorgeous out here, y'all. And when it's beautiful outside, there's no better time to come out here and hit a few golf balls. But Eric, talk to me about the different courses that you have out here. Sure, thank you, David. We have three nines here, which is great. Um, gives us the ability to get a lot more golfers out there, get you a different feel of different types of golf courses. We have our, our Lakes Nine, which obviously has a number of lakes. We have our Creeks, which has a number of creeks. And then the Oaks, which is my favorite. Um, you know, there's some 300-year-old oak trees that are out there, which really love to grab your golf ball, you know, when you're trying to hit them out there. But uh, you know, great facility. Um, all 27 holes and three nines are centrally located right here by the Golf Pro Shop, which is great. And we also have a fantastic, fantastic practice facility with a driving range, short game area, and practice putting green as well. I got to get that short game down. You know, we, we got to work, work on, on that. that. I got to work on a lot of things out here. But you guys actually have services that can help with people who want to even get better at golf, right? Absolutely. Um, myself, I'm a Class A PGA professional. I have um, Ashley, our head golf professional, and a number of other staff um, that uh, we do a number of clinics, individual, private lessons, and, and all of that. So definitely, come on out, enjoy the game. And uh, if you need help, we can help you. Now, speaking of help, I don't have any clubs on me. Can Cut. we get clubs here? Absolutely. We have brand new TaylorMades as our, cl our club rentals. So with every um, rental that you get, you also get two sleeves of golf balls. And um, so we'll get you all set up. I'm excited. But all right, Eric. So. We're going to get the clubs. We're going to get the golf balls. We're going to check out one of these courses that's out here. What else should I know about this before we get going? You know, we probably would want you to hit a few balls on the range to, uh, to loosen up. I don't know if you have time for that, you know, today or not. Oh, we got time. Okay. Well, we'll get you loosened up on the range and get you on the links. Let's loosen up. There we go. This is how you do it? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how we do it. Now we're heading to the southeast side to go inside of a steakhouse that's serving up one of the best burgers in the Alamo City. Now we're here on the southeast side to check out a restaurant that's serving up killer burgers and awesome steaks. This is Hoffman Steakhouse. Joining us now is Jose Hoffman. You're the owner out here at Hoffman Steakhouse. This is a cool spot on the southeast side. Tons of delicious food in front of us. How long has the steakhouse been open? So uh, we've been open since 1977. It was called Beef and Bourbon Steakhouse. My father passed away, so we rebranded it and named it after him, Hoffman Steakhouse. This stuff looks insane, y'all. I'm not even, like this burger is next level. This is crazy. Talk to me about what's going on on this thing. It is just gooey, cheesy goodness. So I'll tell you what, we do our, uh, you know, our uh, burger patties here in-house. It's uh, from Sirloin. Look at this. Oh, look at all that cheese. Now, talk to me about the special because when people come out to order the burger on Tuesdays, there's a big deal going on. So Tuesdays, $7. Half price burgers every Tuesday. Fries too? With fries, absolutely. Y'all, stop what you're doing every Tuesday. Come out here and get this burger. That is crazy good. If you're looking for the next great burger that you need to try on your burger adventures, Hoffman Steakhouse is where you need to go. This thing is absolutely insane. And the melted cheese and the bread set it apart. Now, when you're out here, you might want a delicious steak. It's a steakhouse, right? So you guys have two different options. The first one we're gonna look at is a steakhouse classic. This is the porterhouse steak. So i tell you what, since we opened, my father, when he started back in 1977, he hasn't changed the format. We cut and butcher our own meat on a daily basis. And here we go. So porterhouse, it's the New York strip, the filet on the other side. There you go. That's a good steak, man. Hoffman Steakhouse. 
That was good. The classic steakhouse dish is the porterhouse steak. You got a little bit of that filet on there. You got that New York strip and it's all delicious. And they're cooking it up here to perfection, cutting it here in house as well, seasoning it up right, putting a little bit of parsley on top. It looks great and tastes even better. But talk to me what's going on this. This looks over the top insane. So this is our house, house uh, special. It's been here since 1977. I'm telling you, this is like what we're known for. And this is our sirloin uh, cut steak that we butcher here in, in house. And it has top tomatoes, top onions, top uh, uh, peppers, and melted cheese on top. I'm gonna take a bite. And this is the sirloin cut. How special. Look at that, super colorful, looks delicious. Oh yeah. If you want Tex-Mex mixed up with a steakhouse, you gotta come out to Hoffman Steakhouse and try their house special. You get some of that queso on top, you get the jalapenos, you get the onions, you get the tomatoes. All together, it's one of the best bites you're gonna get at a steakhouse in San Antonio. It's incredible and nobody else has anything like it. Get the cocktails when you're out here as well. Get the old fashioned, you rock. Hoffman Steakhouse is where it's at, y'all. If you're looking for a wild burger, Hoffman Steakhouse is where it's at. Now we're going inside a killer spot for some delicious Mexican food. Joining us now is Celia Davis. She's the owner out here at Chelis Tacos. And in front of us is the biggest spread of food I've seen in a long time. This is amazing. The one dish that I would like to talk to you about is this one right here. I've seen a similar dish at different restaurants, but you guys are doing something a little different with it. My food, the, the big difference, no little, is a natural. I don't prepare with lard, I prepare with love, and special uh, uh, recipes from Republican Mexican. Um, they, it's very important, uh, my, my, my food is a uh, homemade, yeah? If, for example, that, that plate, uh, the name is La Costa de Chela. It's tortilla and tortilla cheese, and on the top is of your choice. For me, it's a me, pizza mexicana. It looks fantastic. Now, this is actual, this is just cheese on here. It's cheese, tortilla cheese, yes. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. And See, all the people love it. And now there's a tortilla on the bottom here, but you could actually just roll this up by itself. Exactly, you just... need to eat. All right, I gotta do it. A big, big taco. What kind of meat is on the inside? Inside, for example, that one is cochinita pibil. It's from Yucatan. Wow. With uh, a red onions, marinade in, 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 in vinegar, and the other choice is a, a asada, a stop sirloin. I'm gonna put this over here. That's with a big pico beer. De with pico de gallo. <laughs> I'm just gonna squeeze my lime over this. Oh, Look, wow. I just did a burrito roll on that one right there. Enjoy. Here we go. This is just cheese, y'all. Yes. And I'm very excited. Mm, I'm hungry. It's amazing, right? That's probably the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Yeah, this really. is incredible. Whether you're on a keto diet or you're just looking for something that's extreme and delicious, the Costa de Chela here at the restaurant is what you need to get. It's a cheese tortilla. The cochinita pibil, you have the asada on the inside. You put a little bit of lime juice on top of there with the onions and the pico de gallo. Most likely one of the best things you'll ever eat in your entire life. This is why I would come back. Okay. I would get this again and again, but you have so much delicious food in front of us. Give me a tour. So talk to me about this plate over here. This is your mm, mini tacos. This one is my mini tacos. This one is uh, picadillo. It's ground beef. This one is barbacoa with onions and cilantro. This one is a uh, delicious mole from Oaxaca. It's amazing. This one is chicken cilantro. The masa that you use right here on the tamale, that's all made fresh in house. Exactly. This one is a pork, a, a, Port tamale is from Oaxaca with banana leaves. This menu is huge. They have street tacos, gorditas, 
flautas, you can get micheladas, you can get margaritas. They have all different kinds of specials. You got to check them out on social media and you got to come out here to make sure you know when they're serving up what you want. You have so many delicious things on the menu, and if you gotta wash it down, you have the perfect drinks to go with it as well. You have a michelada right here, and the yeah, margaritas. Margarita. Which one's your favorite? Oh, no, 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 no. michelada. <laughs> michelada. And that's why I got this big beer right exactly. here. Exactly. And we'll just pour it right in. And this is what would go great. You come out for brunch, you get yourself a little, you know, a little drink, a little boozy brunch going yeah. on. Oh, mimosas. Mimosas is delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Everything out here made fresh. You've been here for so long in San Antonio. You've become a staple, like an icon for great restaurants. You've won so many awards. La Costa de Chela, you got to get this when you come out here. Thank you so much for inviting Thank us. Thank you for coming. Okay? The food looks amazing. It smells great when you walk in. You can get yourself a big beer. This is what you need to try. A cheese tortilla? Now this is my kind of place. Next on Texas Eats. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there's a lot going on in the place. Now it's time for this week's staycation secret word giveaway. The first letter is the letter B. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. When was golf invented? A, 1400s, B, 1600s, C, 1300s, or D, 1500s? We'll have the answer for you after the break. When was golf invented? The answer is A. Golf was invented in the 1400s. Now back to Texas Eats. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're over here at a different part of the course. And this is where like the family can come out and have some fun. But actually talk to me where we're at. You've got the putting green, chipping green, and even the driving range right behind us as well. So this is kind of where it all starts. Just take it back and follow through. Oh! Gosh, you're so close. If people want to come out here, you guys actually have clinics and it starts at a pretty young age. Yep, we start our clinics all the way at um, age of five. So five all the way up until who knows how old? <laughs> <laughs> it's golf. You can it be is. any age, but you it starts You can play your whole entire life. So that's one of the perks about that. So we have clinics for all ages. We have our um, junior camps, junior clinics. We've got adult clinics, couples clinics. We've got our wind down Wednesday clinics. We've got a little bit of everything for the whole family. And you can learn how to putt just like you're going to do right here. Line our ball up to the hole. Just like that. You're awesome, Ashley. Thank you so much. Well, thank and you And if you got a family that wants to come out here and start golfing, this is the place to do it. Exactly. We'd love to have everybody come on out, come back and see us. 
Now we're going to the Pearl to check out a restaurant serving up some rustic cuisine and juicy burgers. Joining us now is executive chef Jared Gwaltney and right in front of us, right off the top here, delicious food. Smells amazing. It smells rustic. So our menu here at the Boiler House is inspired by all of the ethnic uh, hodgepodge, if you will, of what happened here in the Texas Hill Country. And uh, it gives it a real kind of, kind of a homey, uh, like something your grandma made, but just a little kick up. Yeah, a little elevated, yeah. elevated yeah. grandma food. Yeah. This steak dish just looks good. But talk to me, what, what's going on here? So this is our, one of our best-selling entrees. We call it here the sarsaparilla flank steak. And what we do is we take a big 10 ounce portion of uh, flank steak and we rub it with some house-made harissa. Uh, we let that sit for 24 hours and then we soak it in a really strong root beer. And we, we have our boiler house steak sauce and a raw house salad on top. Get a little bit of that sauce going on on the side here. Oh, wow. It's a little sweet. It's just a tiny, tiny bit sour at the end of it, like a little bit. I love what's going on. It's so dynamic. Great. Mm. Flank steaks are not typically the star of the dish, but here at Boiler House, they're doing just that. They're making it the star, and they're mixing it with root beer, which is insane, but it works, and it's really good. These are our bacon-wrapped quail poppers, and what we do is we take some local Hill Country quail, um, we take our house-pickled jalapenos, we stuff it up inside there, we wrap it in bacon, and we hit it on the grill. That is special. All right. If you've never tried quail, if you're maybe intimidated by the thought of trying quail, try this one. This quail dish is a great gateway into trying quail. If you've never had it, this is the place to come. Boiler House is making it right. They got green goddess sauce on there, wrapped in bacon. That's just goodness. And then this dish right here, you have a delicious looking chicken dish and you have some corn on the side as well. So we just rolled out with our new summer menu and this is our new chicken dish. We're calling it the chicken escabeche. And then right here on top, this is called piccalilli. This is a, a Southern Mexican dish made with raisins, mint, and cilantro. It's kind of like a, a chutney. Wonderful. All, All right. right, I'm gonna give it a bite. This dish is what you need to get in your future. <laughs> this was the smoke, this was the, when I was first smelling everything over uh -huh. here, this was what I was smelling, right when you taste it. It's smoky, it has an essence of like Southwest. The smoky sauce that comes on the new summer chicken dish here at the Boiler House is incredible. It, on the dish right in front of me, I mean, you can smell it before you even try it. It's really good. And when it goes into that chicken, you have a little bit of that corn on the side as well. One of the best bites you're gonna find in San Antonio. You have a cocktail over here, you have yeah. your wine. I'm gonna cheers to you. Thank you so much, Chef. You guys gotta come out here at the Boiler House at the Pearl. New stuff coming out for the summer. You gotta try the quail. Change your life. Root beer on a steak? Yeah, they got that here. Coming up next on Texas Eats. Ooh, yeah. I can get down on that. That is delicious. Yeah, the great part is they do good specials with us. We're doing them um, buy four, get one free. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The second letter is the letter E. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. Who was named PGA Tour Rookie of the Year in 1996? Is it A, Robert Gomez, B, Tiger Woods, C, Carlos Franco or D, Ernie Els. We'll have the answer for you after the break.
who was named PGA Tour Rookie of the Year in 1996? The answer is B. Tiger Woods was named PGA Tour Rookie of the Year in 1996. Now back to Texas Eats. Joining us now is Ashley Skidmore, head golf professional out here, and you're gonna be showing me some tips to warm up before exactly. we hit the course, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, uh, probably not the best golfer to play the game. You know, that's why we're here, to be able to help you as much as possible and teach you a couple pointers before you go out there, and then that way you can go out and have some fun out on the golf course. What do you gotta do? What are the, what's the tips? The tips are, we're gonna stand with our feet about shoulder width apart. Okay. We're gonna grip the club. Okay. You're going to grip it with your left hand. Okay. Bring your right hand down. Perfect. You want to both thumbs to go down the, sh the shaft of the club. Okay. And then you're going to make sure the ball's in the middle of your stance. Okay. And then you're going to take the club. So if I'm mirroring you, you're uh -huh. going to take the club back and up, kind of like into an L position. Uh -huh. And then you're going to follow through into an L position and have the hands by your ear. And uh -huh. right there, we're going to be able to hit the ball. And You see a lot of guys when they do it, that little foot in the back kind of does like a little thing. What's the thing with the foot? Yes, so when you take it back, you're gonna turn, and when you come through, it's almost like you're gonna squish the bug. I'm learning a lot here, you guys. This is the good stuff that you don't get. All right, I'm ready to hit. All right. Ball in the middle. Ball in the middle, hands Thumb in the middle. Down. Hands gonna, in the middle. We're gonna keep the eye on the ball the whole entire time. <sighs> Eyes on the ball. Okay, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Great shot. Ready to do it, baby. Joining us now is Ken DeMello. You're going to be making up some cocktails over here. You you know how to run this whole place, right? <laughs> I do, yeah. When it comes to the food and the drinks, this is the guy right here. You have two cocktails right in front of us. Talk to me about each one. So the first one is our skinny coconut mojito uh, made with a blue chair rum, um, coconut water, and it's, a, it's our version of mojito. The second one is our version of a regular Paloma. It's the Casamigos tequila, Ancho Reyes liqueur, which is just a chili liqueur, and uh, grapefruit juice. All right, got to try them. Here we go. Oh, that's delicious. Coconutty. That is so coconut forward. <laughs> but like you said, it's like a mojito, but it's very coconut forward. It has all the things you like about mojitos, but it's really good. Yeah, something a little different. That is very refreshing. This one, nice little salted rim on there. Oh, it smells, that smells like it's dangerous. Classic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give me five of these and a little place to tan and you got yourself a good Saturday. The cocktails are delicious. You have some beers over here, but you also have some wines in a can, which is really cool. Yeah. Talk to me about these wines. So wine in a can, it helps at the pool a lot because it's a lot smaller portion, but it's a, it's a group out of uh, California. They make the three different varietals of all the whites, and we actually use the rosé in our frosé, which is a frozen version of a rosé wine. Let's try it out here. Ooh, yeah. I can get down on that. That is delicious. Yeah, they're great partners. They do good specials with us. We're doing mm. um, buy four, get one free, that sort of thing every weekend. And then you also have a lot of standard, really good Americana food on the menu, including your burgers, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about your menu. So the menu's all new this year. We have a great chef that we partner with. Um, classic burger, classic fries, chicken tenders. This is where you come to. After you're done golfing, you want to relax, right? You got your room. You want to come down here. You go in the, the lazy river, right? <laughs> you can do it all right there's here. There's a bar on the river. And there's a bar. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Give me some foot. Foot. There you go. Love it. I'm going to take this one. This Actually, you can help I'll me. I'll take this one. Okay. Cheers, guys. Coming up next on Texas Eats. Ashley, you called these clubs hybrids, but I don't see any gas or electricity, so why are they called hybrids? This is a hybrid between an iron and your wood. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The third letter is the letter R. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. What type of golf clubs are used for long shots? A, putters, B, irons, C, wedges, or D, woods? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What type of golf clubs are used for long shots? The answer is D. Wood golf clubs are used for long shots or teeing off. Now back to Texas Eats. So for me, I go through a pre-shot routine, uh, making sure that I get behind the ball, line it up, visualize it in my head, making sure I know it's that pretty little shot that's gonna go right down the middle of the fairway and then swing away. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. That was like watching art happen like that close. I'm gonna try to hit one. Great shot, look at that. <sighs> Taking that one to the bank. Ashley, you called these clubs hybrids, but I don't see any gas or electricity, so why are they called hybrids? This is a hybrid between an iron and your wood. So your driver that we just hit on the tee box, so that's the big one, and then your iron. And when would you use this? This would be when you're still further out in the, in the fairway. Gonna line up the exact same way we did on the tee box, making sure we're all set and ready to go. I'm pretty satisfied with that. We are using our wedge. Um, when you're close up by the green, you need a little bit of higher loft, goes a shorter distance. At this point, kind of open in your stance a little, straight back, straight through, and watch it just go right there by the pin. Your ball ended up in a pretty great spot, but my ball ended up in the sand, so what am I gonna do about that? So we're gonna grab your wedge, we're gonna go hit it out of the sand. We're gonna dig in our feet, open our stance up some. We see where our target is. This point, lean a little forward. Right out it goes. Go so you button. don't hit the ball? We don't hit our ball. It's right underneath it. Okay, not bad, just a little <laughs> too much sand. Again, too much sand? Too much sand. Much better. It was better. You're out. <laughs> we made it. Every green has different slopes. So you can see here, I mean, we have, it's super high up here. It's got a couple little tiers to it. Um, even from here, where we're putting that to the to the green. Um, we've got water in the background. Water kind of draws the ball to it. So that's another you know challenge that everyone kind of faces as well. Um, but even from here, we got to play play the slope of the course. So we got to aim a little bit left of that hole. Let that ball go out and towards the hole. At that point, it'll just kind of roll right in. We Perfect. have specific clubs with us right now. This one looks like it'd be a belt buckle or some kind of really cool looking like device, but yours is a little different. Everyone kind of has a different preference on putter. Some like a really light putter, some like a little heavy putter. Um, completely up to you on what you prefer. So for me, the first thing we're gonna do is look at the slope of the green. Kind of what we just talked about, slope of the green. We're looking at it, getting down on the ground. We see the ball is gonna go over to the right. Yep. And then, are you sure you know what yeah, that is? Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> we're gonna aim that line right there, two cups out. At that point, stand up to it, take a practice swing, and now just fire away. Oh! Is that allowed? Is that, is that legal? You have some fans, they're ready for you. I don't know if it's, I think this goose has been paid off. <laughs> It's all par for the course. It is. <laughs> a little too much gravy on there, huh? Just a little. You got really close, but now it's like a different game, right? Because you're going uphill. Yep, now I'm going uphill. Now the break is the complete opposite. So now we're going right to left. Right in. Why, thank you. Sometimes you see them get like real down, right? They're like- Exactly. Oh, and they're like that and they're- Mm-hmm. Feeling good, y'all. Duh, I need to go back to putt putt. Oh, go! Oh. So close. And that's when you see them now, walk up and they just like. Good job. Perfect, good job on that hole. It's good. We did good. I feel I like good. That. I like what's going on out here. I got a lot of good tips. I feel like I can take this and, and do it and apply it to different things across this course. Perfect. Come Thank on you out. so much. Anytime. We'd love to have you out and Love to have anybody out come out and play and see us and take some lessons. Coming up next on Texas Eats. I want to show it off to the camera. Look at that. Perfect medium on there, seared on the outside. Y'all know what you're doing. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway.
The fourth letter is the letter M. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. Which of these drinks is named after a famous golfer? Is it A, Dr. Pepper, B, Arnold Palmer, C, Mr. Pibb, or D, Tom Collins? We'll have the answer for you after the break. Which of these drinks is named after a famous golfer? The answer is B. An Arnold Palmer is a 50-50 mix of iced tea and lemonade. Now back to Texas Eats. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We're here at the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Club with me as Ashley. On Wednesdays, we're offering our Wind Down Wednesdays. It's a hour long golf clinic with us. Um, it's with me and my staff teaching it. And then we will go over all kind of pointers, give you kind of the ins and outs of the golf game and your golf swing. And then after that, at the conclusion, we will be offering um, everyone a glass of wine who participates and kind of just a summary and kind of go over all of everything we learned for the day. It's a lot of fun. Ladies love it, guys enjoy it. It's a little bit of fun for everybody. I'd love that. I like that the booze is after the hitting because if you drink it before. It's the first Wednesday of every month. So you come out here, you get some tips, you get to have some fun, you get to play some golf, and then you go and you get to have some wine. Who that wouldn't is, love it? Who wouldn't love it? And you're at the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Club. Great swing. It hit a tree, I heard that. Can't beat that. <laughs> Joining us now is Maricita Garcia. You are like a little bit of everything out here. Third generation <laughs> family member out here. Marketing, you do a little bit of household management. You do it all. <laughs> yes. And you're gonna be talking with us today about this dish that's right in front of us. This is the king of steaks when it comes to steakhouse. It's the porterhouse steak. So you got the New York strip and then you have the filet on the side, but it's a big old piece of it. <laughs> you got the shrimp on there, the loaded baked potato. Why is this steak at your steakhouse so popular? To me, 
it's so special because it's like it's enough I mean it's enough to feed two people or if you're up for the challenge eat the whole thing yourself <laughs> but what I really like is you actually get two different tastes from each side of the steak too this is what you need to try when you come out here how long has the restaurant been open so the restaurant has been open 57 years we opened in 1963 started with my grandma my grandpa with a cigar box as the cash register you had to pull that out of the deep <laughs> realms of your brain you were like let me get all this history and pull it out this steak here mm -hmm. this, that's, this is the one to get when you come here and then the shrimp on the side it's an addition but you got to try it because it's your surf and turf kind of combo mm -hmm. i'm going to give it a bite but what is it like being a third generation family member in this business um, it's really special it's um very we're very proud of it we're very um it's a lot of hard work but it's worth it we have customers that have been are also third generation customers coming in to see us the filet on this steak Absolutely tender, delicious, cooked to a perfect medium. I'm gonna cut right into this. I wanna show it off to the camera, look at that. Perfect medium on there, seared on the outside. Y'all know what you're doing. Now, do these steaks, do they come like this? How are they prepared? So we actually, um, we cut our own steaks every day in house. Um, we have the same butcher, we've had him for about 45 years oh my gosh. <laughs> and he comes in every morning 5 30 in the morning starts cooking um cutting our steaks so we cut our meat every morning in house and it, it looks like a lot y'all but let me tell you i've accomplished this myself i'm a big man but let me you can do it too the way they're searing up their steaks out here it's not too salty it's not over seasoned and the meat really shines through you can tell they're cutting them all fresh in house this is a great steakhouse that's been here for a long time this is such an iconic place in San Antonio and for it to be back open again and functioning is so important to this community. Thank you so much for having us out here. You guys gotta try the shrimp. I'm gonna dip it in the cocktail sauce that comes right here with it. You have the killer porterhouse steak, the loaded baked potato. If you wanna get the full steakhouse experience, this is what you get. I love it, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mm, not good sauce. It's got little in the name, but there's nothing little about these steaks. Coming up next on Texas Eats. And when you come inside, I'm actually holding these cups. Okay. Now, I can try one or two or how you many can, can I You can try as many mixtures as you would like. You can try all 24. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The fifth letter is the letter U. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. What year was the PGA of America founded? Is it A, 1888, B, 1924, C, 1916, or D, 1897? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What year was the PGA of America founded? The answer is C. The PGA of America was founded in 1916. Now back to Texas Eats. After all this food and fun, you might need to quench your thirst, and we've got the perfect spot. Joining us now is Shelly Herthnick. She is the owner-operator out here, but there's a whole team of people that make this happen out here. There's a whole team. It's my husband, our two daughters, my brother, his wife, and my parents all went in together. <laughs> it's a lot of people, but good thing because there's a lot of tea here. There's a lot of tea. We have 24 flavors. Yes. And when you come inside, I'm actually holding these cups. Okay. Now, I can try one or two or how you many can, can I You can try sample? as many mixtures as you would like. You can try all 24. You can mix them together, and there's hundreds of combinations you could come up with to sample. They're separated in sections, right? They're separated. Our most popular flavors we put in these, these are called our tea bubblers. Um, but yeah, you can just sip and sample as much Ooh. as you would like. It's pretty tasty. Isn't it? Sweet tea is so good. It's good. Now, that tastes just like really fresh tea. Where's the source from? What makes the tea special? We get all of our teas from India and China, and we brew constantly throughout the day. So the tea is constantly fresh. You're gonna step into this realm over here. Now these are bigger. You said the bigger ones right. are like the more popular right. ones. And this is sweet mint, sweet coconut, and a Ryan Palmer. Palmer. Yes. Not an Arnold Palmer. It's our version of an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> so it is our sweet regular tea and lemonade. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I gotta try it. This I'm one is Arnold one of my Palmer favorites. Freak. I yes. love Arnold Palmers. So it's a... Oh. Oh. You like that? Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that gave me a little shivers. Oh, that it's tasty. You put a little sweet mint in there. You this can, is where it gets crazy. This is where it gets fun. You can mix and match as many flavors as you want. My favorite combination that I found, trying all the different flavors in there, is a mix between the mango, the mint, and the Ryan Palmer. You get all three of those together, give it a little swirl. Hold up, hold up. Sweet turbo citrus tea. It's high octane. Look at the little, look at the tag on there. That looks dangerous. Okay, hold on. Okay, what do you think? I'm going to try it. Shelly, this place is absolutely amazing. And Thank it's not you. just the teas. Nope. You also have like some fruit that yes. you can add in as can well. Add to your teas. You have little chips. So it's kind of like, it's like a gas station on steroids. Sure, if you will, <laughs> yes. But no gas. You like it? Ooh, but they got the high <laughs> octane tea. That'll get you going. Thank I'll you so much for having us out here. Thank you, we appreciate it. You guys it. are busy, so we're gonna let you get okay. to it. I gotta get some of this high octane energy tea. This is where it's at. This place is the T's knees. Coming up next on Texas Eats. Yes, absolutely, you know, the resort sits on 250 acres. We have 500 guest rooms. We have a thousand foot lazy river with the activity pool, the adult pool. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The sixth letter is the letter D. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Now it's time for this week's golf course trivia. What is the golf term for scoring one under par on a hole? A, turkey, B, birdie, C, eagle, or D, bogey? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
What is the golf term for scoring one under par on a hole? The answer is B. Scoring one under par on a hole in golf is called a birdie. Now back to Texas Eats. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We've had a great time out here at the resort over there playing some golf. And with us again is Eric Claxton. Now, Eric, this is like the last haven that you have. If you've missed That's anything, it. if you forgot something, this is where you come to get it, right? This is it. You know, before you're round, you need your golf balls and your glove and all that, which hopefully you didn't lose too many today. You know, but after the round, you want to get that guilt gift or, you know, get something else. Come on in and we have your hats, your shirts, everything else that you need here in the golf shop. Absolutely. And the resort itself, just gorgeous. And what a cool place to be a part of and having all of this all in one central location like this. Absolutely. You know, the resort sits on 250 acres. We have 500 guest rooms. We have a thousand foot lazy river with the activity pool, the adult pool. Um, you know, plenty of activities for you and your family to enjoy. Absolutely. I love it. You bring the family out here, hit some golf balls, you have some great food, drink some great drinks, go relax in the lazy river. In fact, I might even do that after this because it's a steamy day out it there. It is hot out it there was, It's getting hot. Ashley got me working out there. But thank you so much for having us out here. And in fact, I even got this shirt out here. So you guys can find a lot of cool things. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. Now it's time for this week's secret word giveaway. The seventh letter is the letter A. Write down all of the letters and at the end of the show, enter them on ksat.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a one night stay at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort and a family four pack to the Hyatt Hill Country Golf Course. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. Make sure you go on to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win this week's giveaway. Plus, when you're there, you can watch previous episodes and check out a lot of other content. Plus, follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And, of course, tune in every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night on KSAT 12 because this is how Texas Eats.